everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. NASA experiments seem to have validated an experimental engine design that was previously dismissed as impossible. The engine is called the Cannae Drive, named after the Battle of Cannae during the Second Punic War. It's supposedly able to use electrical power to generate thrust without the need for propellant. It's similar to another experimental engine, the M-Drive, which was invented by British scientist Roger Shawyer. Both the Canny Drive, invented by Guido Feta, and the M-Drive have been scoffed at by most scientists and engineers. Until now, that is. Last week at the Jet Propulsion Conference, a team from NASA's Johnson Space Center presented the results of tests it had conducted on a Canny Drive. Surprisingly, it seemed to work. If these results hold up to scrutiny, and they very well may not, the Canny Drive could represent a major step forward in satellite propulsion. Currently, up to half the launch mass of many satellites consists of fuel for thrusters. A propulsion system that could run on solar power and required no additional propellant would be very good news indeed. Next up, here's another NASA study that holds promise for better engines, but not for spacecraft, for things right here on Earth. During experiments conducted aboard the International Space Station, the results of which were published in the journal Microgravity Science and Technology, researchers discovered a type of cool burning flame that had never been seen before. Droplets of heptane were ignited, seemed at first to burn out, but were then discovered to still be burning with cool flames that were virtually invisible to the unaided eye. The researchers behind this experiment think a better understanding of these cool burning flames could lead to automobile engines that run at lower temperatures and emit fewer pollutants. The experiment which led to this discovery could only have been performed in the microgravity environment of the International Space Station. This is just one more example of the benefits we as a species continue to receive from the manned space program. Finally, a team of researchers from Stanford University has taken a big step toward what is being called the holy grail of battery design. That holy grail is a lithium anode. The anode, as some of you may remember from science class, although not me, I had to look it up, is one of the three basic components of a battery, the other two being the cathode and the electrolyte. Lithium is already present in the electrolyte of many batteries, but a lithium anode would greatly increase efficiency and extend battery life. Building a lithium anode that works has been a problem, however, because lithium expands when electrically charged. Now, the Stanford team may have solved that problem by protecting their battery's lithium anode with a flexible layer of carbon nanospheres. The nanospheres have already improved the efficiency of the Stanford team's batteries significantly over that of past lithium anode batteries. The work isn't done. Efficiency needs to improve a bit more before lithium anodes are practical for everyday use in things like smartphones and electric cars. But these results indicate that the team is well on its way to building a better battery. Their study is published in the journal Nature Nanotechnology. NASA announces that an impossible propulsion system might actually work. Experiments on the International Space Station lead to the discovery of cool flames, and battery designers may have just found their holy grail. That's the good news. Yes, it is. I don't care what you say. It's all good news. How about I just hold you for a few more hours?